Assalamualaikum. I am Smriti from Learn Flutter with Smriti. I hope you enjoyed last of my video. Today I will share with you some more interesting concepts. Before write the code, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell icon to get notification as I upload new videos every time. In last video we created product model, in today's video we will complete the rest of the part and from next tutorial we will start admin part. Ok so first in the services directory I am creating new file product services.dirt. In that file we will create a class product services. In that class, we will create all functions that necessary to implement add to cart, favorites, search functionality, and many more. If we have a dirt class that only contains a static method and constants, and most likely we want to make the class to be non instantiable, then we will create private constructor because we want to prevent object initialization from outside of the class. Ok, now we will create static private variable that contains a reference to the classes one instance. The factory constructor returns an instance of the class it is generally used for control the instance creation. For example, we can cache an instance of the class and return the same instance when a user is trying to create new object. Ok, now we will create one more instance for Firebase Firestore. Firebase Firestore comes from Cloud Firestore package, so we have to add the package in pubspec.yml file. If Firebase Firestore null, then it will take a Firebase Firestore default instance and then it will return a Firebase Firestore. Okay, so let's create our first function get product with ID. I am taking a feature in type would be product model class. And it's a function name get product with ID. In that, we will create a product collection and then we will use get method to get all products. In document, we have to define a specific ID. So, its parameter, I am taking a variable products ID. 
and then we'll use the variable in document and then get method to get all products now we'll put it into a variable and as we will get response in future we have to use await keyword the await expression only be used for async function so we have to use async keyword If doc snapshot exists, it will return product from map to convert products collections all object into a map data. And next we will define id doc snapshot dot id and it will be return null. Okay, now we'll move on home screen widget. As you can see, it record for product stream controller. Let's add that. As I gave title products you like, it's main favorite all products. So we'll create a file favorite products stream dot In that first, we'll create a class. And extends the base a stream class, data stream. It's a type, we'll define list. And we'll override missing methods. In that, we'll add a method to show all favorite products. To create the method, let's move on product services file. In that first, we'll take a user's collection. And in document would be current user's UID. So let's define that. We will put it into a variable Okay, we will create another variable In that we will add get method
and then data means all objects and we will create another variable fab list in that would be user doc data and index of favorite products We will keep this string constant. And then it will be return fav list. Okay, our function ready. Now let's move on favorite products stream file. In that we will add the function. <laughs> 